Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about Learning objective, divide fractions. So this will be the last operation that we have in operation of rational numbers. So let us consider this situation or problem. Sue bought one-third of a kilogram of clay for the students in her pottery class. She then divided the clay evenly into pieces that were one-sixth of a kilogram. Into how many pieces did Sue divide the clay? So probably dito pa lang sa question, makikita na natin yung operation na involved which is division. So to help Sue, to help Sue solve her problem, stay focused and go with me as we explore the new lesson that we will discuss in this video. So division of fractions mathematically, if a, b, c and d are integers, where b is not equal to 0 and z is not equal to 0 and d is not equal to 0, then a over b divided by c over d equals to a times d over b times c. So probably same rule lang siya ng multiplication of fractions pero may madadagdag lang na rule. At we will find out kung anong steps yung nadagdag. Okay. So, here are the steps that we need to follow in dividing fractions. Just copy the first fraction, get the reciprocal of the second fraction, then proceed to multiplication. Yun lang yung tatandaan. We just copy the first fraction at kukuhanin yung reciprocal of the second fraction. But by the way, what is reciprocal? So, ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng reciprocal? It is the process of exchanging the numerator and the denominator. So, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin yung numerator and denominator, then magpaproceed na tayo sa steps ng multiplication of fractions. Okay, so let's have a quick review on the steps in multiplying fractions. First step, Multiply the numerators of the two fractions and multiply the denominators of the two fractions. Or, numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Then, express your answer in lowest term if possible. So, hanapin natin yung common factors na makakancel para makuha natin yung reduced form. Or, we have alternative steps. Use cancellation if possible. So, cancelled out common factors in the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. So, let's have an example. 2 pif divided by 6 over 7. So, let us follow the steps. So, we have here the second fraction which is 6 7 that we need to get the reciprocal. So, magiging multiplication na yung operation natin. So, 2 pif, you just copy the first fraction times. 7, 6 yung reciprocal ng second fraction. Then, magpaproceed na tayo sa rule ng multiplication. So, meron ba tayo ditong makakancel? So, yung 2 at 6. So, we can cancel out 2 and 6. Meron siyang common factor which is yung 2. So, 2 divides 2 is 1. Then, 6 divides 2 is 3. Then, after that, Numerator times numerator, so 1 times 7 is 7, then 5 times 3 is 15. So therefore, that will be our quotient, 7 over 15. So let's have another example. 3 eighths divided by 4 pips. So same rule, we just copy the first fraction, then times the reciprocal of 4 fifths, which is 5 fourths. Then, meron po ba tayong makakancel? So, there is none. Since reduced form na pares yung ating fraction. So, we just multiply numerator and numerator. So, 3 times 5 is 15. Then, 8 times 4 is 32. So, 15 over 32, that will be our final answer. So, 
So, let's have our last example. So, 10 over 15 divided by 2 over 25. Again, we just get the reciprocal of 2 over 25, which is 25 halves. And then, we can make use of cancellation para mas mapadali yung ating pag-multiply. So, we can cancel 10 and 2. The common factor is 2. So, 10 divides 2 is 5. 2 divides 2 is 1. What else? We can also cancel 25 and 15. The common factor is 5. So, 25 divides 5 is 5. Then, 15 divides 5 is 3. Then, after cancellation, so numerator times numerator, 5 times 5 is 25. And then, 3 times 1 is 3. So, we have 25 thirds. So, that will be our final answer. So, that's how we divide a fraction. So, just remember the steps that I have mentioned. So, going back to our problem. So, we have our given one-thirds of a kilogram of clay and then one-sixth of a kilogram. So, let us see how many pieces. So, probably we will divide. So, one-third divided by one-sixth. We just get the reciprocal of 1, 6, which is 6 over 1. And then, we can make use of cancellation. So, 6 and 3, the common factor is 3. 6 divides 3 is 2. 3 divides 3 is 1. And then, multiply. So, that is 2 over 1 or 2. So, thus, we divided the clay into 2 pieces. So, that's one of the examples of the application of dividing fractions. So, I hope that you learned something today. It's your time to get your pen and paper and please do our activity. So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.